There's so much that can be done by local governments, but how competent are they? Uh, what, are the, what is the caliber of people there? Might that be a consideration uh, for the governors to feel that, no, we can't let such power go to those people directly. They will be uncontrollable. Uh, maybe if they were of the highest caliber of people, we might have a different kind of argument. Is that a relevant way of thinking at all, Fred? Yeah, any, any governor that is saying, or share, any governor that is expressing such sentiment is not being honest. Because there are very good people at the local government level. And uh, if not for the emasculation and the strangulation of local government authority and the finances by the state governors, even more people with better capacity and better efficiency, people with uh, better intelligence, people with uh, robust ability will now become interested in uh, working at the local government level. But what the governors do is that they do selection at the various government houses. And uh, they just decide who to appoint Catholic committee chairman or who to uh, elect in the usually charade elections that are held, which they call local government elections. And by so doing, they don't like vibrant people. They don't like activists. They don't like people who will ask questions. They don't like people who will want to liberate the local government. They appoint their stooges and their, and their yes men to man and handle local government affairs, such that whatever they give them as handouts, they will just go and manage at local government level, and the rest of the money goes to the state. Do you know that for the chairman of the local government, for example, to embark on any major project, he has to get approval from the governor, and not only get approval, it is the governor or the commissioner working for the governor that will determine Okay, um, uh, Kesandu is standing by in Oweri. Good morning to you, Kesandu. Very agree to Happy New Year, sir. Indeed, compliments of the season to you too. Thank you for calling. I wish you. Uncle Yuri, I want to say that no right thinking and responsible person will take away the importance of the local government system. That is one. So I want to also sympathize with this group of people who actually who actually came together to say no to our democracy, especially the Imo State House of Assembly. I want to say that Imo people, we have spoken in one voice that were highly disappointed that they could vote against the local government autonomy. And we only stretch the point. You see, it is quite disheartening and unfortunate that at this time of our life as Nigerians, that we want to have a paradigm shift from what we are practicing and what ought to be done in the country. It is so disheartening and unfortunate that at this time of our life, we want to say that we must, we must take, back, take back our country, that we must change the scheme of things in this country. Some persons have sworn that Nigeria will remain the way it is or even dwindle. Let me also say this. This has gone to show us the characters of some of these people that have called themselves governors and members of the State House of Assembly. And you see, somebody wrote a piece that said, we the people are the demons of democracy. We have another opportunity now. Because we have seen these characters actually came together and said no to local government authority or autonomy. And some of them are seeking second term. Some of them want to go with election. It's not our responsibility as a people now to stand up and defend the local government now. This is the time. In your various federal constituencies and your state constituencies, people running for governorship. These are pertinent questions we must ask anybody who is coming to run for governorship. You must sign for us that you are going to support the local government of Finland because we must build it back. So I am pleading to Nigerians. Nigerians, it is unfortunate that these people who are infinitesimal in number that, are, that have come together from the coalition to rip us off our development. Are the governors not aware? that local government, local government autonomy and the local government system is the easiest access to the common man in my place. I do not aware. Now, look at what is happening in Imo When the governor told me he told us he's going to conduct local government election, that he's not going to do with the solar administration. But what is happening in Imo today? It is just about solar administration. And I know it's happening in so many states. So I am appealing to our Nigerians. We had a golden opportunity from February 25th to March to actually bring in men and women of impeccable character because my alma mater says my character is lost all this block. It's unfortunate that this is a function of character. Let us be men and women of impeccable character that can help us and stand on their feet and say no to some of these governors who have actually sworn to the architects of our misfortune in this country. So if Nigeria is possible, we are ready to take back our country and we must return back the local government system. God bless us. Thank you very much, uh, Kesandu, calling in from 
um, uh, I believe it was already there. Um, Fred, so it, it, where we are at oh, now, uh, where we are at now, what, what, what exactly does this do for the uh, development and strengthening of democracy in our country? Because I imagine what we're talking about now, the complaints we have about um, uh, 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 local government autonomy missing the boat, so to speak, it's not about uh, one party or the other. It seems to be the way across board the political parties. So what does this do or perhaps not do for strengthening uh, democracy? Okay, well, I agree completely with the last caller that the people need to, to stand up and uh, defend the autonomy of the local government because the constitution has not given it such defense. And that is why we, when we complain about the nature of 1999 constitution, as not being people's constitution, this is one of them, this is one of the, this is one of the major issues that has uh, not allowed that constitution to be development oriented, especially at the grassroots. Uh, because the, the same constitution that gave us, that, gave, uh, that created the local government system also emasculated it by way of handing over the authority, so to speak, to the hands of the state governors, who now use the manipulative instrument of the House of Assembly to deny the local government of its autonomy. So it's a big battle that must be fought by all Nigerians in order to extricate the local government from the stranglehold of the state governors. And if that is not done, then uh, it is as well as forgetting the local government system. But that is why when we talk about restructuring of Nigeria, and that is what Alajah uh, Tukobaka uh, of uh, PDP has been talking about, about the restructuring, that one of the major things that will be done is to lobby the various governors to allow the states to have independence. And so many things will need to be done with respect to ensuring that our constitution is not only people-oriented constitution, but uh, development-oriented constitution. Because Nigerian constitution as it is today does not allow for development as a great route. And uh, that's one of the reasons why the governors are capitalizing on that to stay full. OK, um, let, let me take Ada in Jaws. Good morning, Ada. Good morning, Mr. Yoda, and good morning, uh, my friends. Yeah. Uh, they are calling from just like say. Let me tell you something, Mr. Yoda. You know, I've said it times without number. This character we are talking about is not just all about character. The white man behaves himself not because of the pigmentation of his skin. It's the laws in their land. If not, they want to open the ticket, you know? What am I trying to say? You know, if, if we don't have, if we cannot change our institutions, this problem of local government autonomy will continue this way. Since uh, your, your guest, by uh, Zyko, even mentioned that it, was, it has been done once, you know, and that is the way the, the checks were separated, the, the checks uh, when it was separated. Why can't you follow that way now for now? That is, uh, it, 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 there are many ways to kill a rat, you know? We can't continue like this. Now, what if we, if we practice fiscal federalism? Because we have a structural defect in Nigeria. That is the problem. All these people that are coming in saying that they will do this, they do that. If, if we don't uh, address this issue of the structural defect, and plus this fiscal federalism, they cannot do anything. What do anyway? They can't. You know, you can't use uh, uh, something on nothing. That is the problem we are having. So, you know, that is the laws of the land. It controls people's behavior. It helps to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, regulate people's behavior. Why would the government do what they are doing if we don't find a way around it? Then the citizens say, okay, us, we are a problem. We can take back our local government if we, if we are really serious okay. about it. When they now see that we are on our, we, we, we raise our voices, they, they, they will have a this is, this is, you know. It cannot continue like this. It's a threat to our government. Let us practice fiscal federalism and all this nonsense will stop. All the same, let's not give up on Nigeria. All, that <laughs> all right, then. Thank you very much uh, for calling in, uh, Ada. Uh, all that uh, I, I, I hear that uh, phrase every time Ada comes on. Uh, it will be well, I believe, is uh, what it means. Um, so, uh, Fred, uh, there you see, uh, th we, we have it there. Uh, we, we, are, we are suffering through, as it were. I mean, when I say we, uh, that's from people who are uh, advocates of the strengthening and deepening of democracy, perhaps such as your very good self. Um, but it's not the way it is. And it's not about one party or the other. It seems to be all the parties that um, are like this. And that's why state houses of assembly... Uh, could not return, you know, the kind of uh, what people would have thought 
is logical. So what is, log what, what is the illogicality as far as the state houses of assembly are seeing it, apart from the fact that you pointed out already that, no, they just want everything under the control of the governor so that everybody shall be perhaps from their own party. Because if things were to be free and fair and uh, democratic and we could go to the polls, uh, then you might have a mixture of uh, people uh, within those local government councils. But what you know happens is that if the government is, if the government and the governor are from party A, then he wants every member, every member of the local government council to also be a card-carrying member of party A, and so on. Uh, I don't know if how helpful this is for the development, uh, or shall we say, deepening of democracy. The, 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 the worrisome part of it is what you have highlighted, because the various state governors use the local government system as as a, a very robust instrument in deepening the, 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 the stranglehold of the party in the state. Say, for example, by the time the chairman of local government is appointed by the governor, he is accountable to the governor. All the councillors appointed by the governor, they are all accountable to the governor. And then the, governors, the governor will find it easy to use these men and women to reach the grassroots because they are now more or less like extension of the of the of office of the governor, instead of being a third tier of government. Exactly. And that is why even when they even when they try to to hold the election, the election is usually a, a charade, manipulated and won in some cases 100 percent by members of the governor's party. In which case, it is not an election; it is a selection.